Today, I'll be unboxing the January Comic Army Box. Stick around. DJ Links is in the building. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy DJ Links. Back in the building, back in DJ effect, Link. and back with another video. And today, I'll be unboxing the January Comic Army Box. What's the Comic Army Box, you may be asking yourself? Well, that's Chris, the comic vet. He has a channel membership, and I am a part of that channel membership. And each month, he has a channel member's appreciation prize to give back to the channel members. I do the same thing with my channel members, as does Mark from Legion of Comics. Other content creators that have channel memberships choose to do donate that revenue to charity, similar to how Rob Fatstacks of Comics is donating all his channel revenue to C3 or to support C3. But guys like Vet, myself, Mark from Legion of Comics, we always put the money back into the channel and I just so happen to win the January box. So I'm gonna open this up, show you what potentially you could win in a future Comic Army box and maybe you decide to sign up to the channel. Let's go. This is everything that I got out of the Comic Army box for January. There's a bunch of you and it's funny because I'm like, damn, why is this box so heavy? Because I know there was some um, rolls and then the slab, but the box was super, super heavy. But he threw in some Walmart packs. He's known on his channel for doing Walmart packs. There's a bunch here. I am going to wind up giving these out like on In The Mix or something. I'm going to give all these Walmart packs away. So I'm not going to open any of those, but there's eight Walmart packs. Looks like they're all DC packs. And this stuff right here without me even going through it and I don't even remember seeing what was in the comic army box i know i seen the preview when he showed it on his show on wednesday i'm gonna give this all out this entire thing what happens is i usually give away any giveaway that i win i usually give it right back to the community and sight unseen i'm just gonna give away this entire stack as well i'm gonna go through it with you and these are some things that you could win probably on in the mix this friday night so here we go first book up Fire, David Nakayama Magneto. Is it David Nakayama or John Tyler Christopher? My bad. But that is fire. Straight out the gate. Damn, why did I even say that I was giving this away? I want this. I think this is John Tyler Christopher. Resurrection of Magneto. That is fire. I don't know. That might that might <laughs> that might stay. Next big up. Oh shit. The Rob Liefeld, Captain America, foil of Falcon, bringing back the chest. That is dope. I met Rob Liefeld at this New York Comic Con that just passed and he did one for me. Chiseled out signature, like spit all over the thing. And I was just like, bro, you are a madman. He was a madman. That cocaine was working overtime. Shout out to Rob Liefeld. Next book up. Boom, we got the regular trade dress. I was gonna say virgin, but we got the regular trade dress. Super fire. I actually dig that, man. The original art of that Captain America with the big ass chest like that just sold for a crazy shit ton of money. Next book up. Speaking of Captain America, <laughs> yes! Now I'm starting to remember. Yo, that chest is crazy. Yo, Captain America went full bust right there. Captain America, that's dope. Now I'm starting to remember seeing these books. That's dope. That's a Ghost Rider, right? Yeah. No, wrong. Zoro, Man of the Dead, number one. I've heard nothing but great things about this Zoro, and it's a Lee Bermejo. I could tell right off the rip because I love this dude's art style. I know I said I was going to give all this stuff away. This might not be included. This Zoro might stay in the PC. Next, we go. All right, we got a G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe 301. So this is a variant of the new series that just launched on Image, which I'm digging and I just found out recently that it's not tied into any of the Energon stuff. And I was just like, why am I getting this then? So I might just shelve it. I think it's only six issues. I might be wrong. I don't know. I thought it was going to be tied into the Energon verse, but it's not. It's only Transformers, Duke, and Cobra Commander. Next book up, but this is a Mutant Beaver exclusive. Not my favorite kind of beaver, but... I <laughs> a mutant beaver is a uh, that's a pretty catchy name for a uh, comic shop dope as wolverine uh superheroes number one that's interesting the way they drew her claws x23 it looks like she's holding it you know how you take the butter knives as you're a kid and you put them in between your hands and it's like that's what it looks like on on this hand right there but that's pretty cool next book up another x-men i actually have this one 
X-Men number 14, Miguel Mercado. Exclusive comic Illuminati. Wait, what? There's a comic Illuminati? I need to see the back of this. I thought we were the comic book Illuminati. Oh, Unknown Comic Books exclusive. There you go. That's pretty cool. I, yeah, I actually have this. I don't even know why I looked in the back. The comic Illuminati thing threw me off. And then Void Rivals number four, which is a dope series. Speaking of that Energon stuff that I had just mentioned, and it says on the back, my letter was published in this book. Boom. And then last but certainly not least, we have this gorgeous slab. John Jang, goodness, foiled out of his damn mind. Superman, son of Kal-El, number 17. Convention exclusive, John Jang. Big time collectibles exclusive. It doesn't say what convention, and it's a virgin variant. Holy smokes. This is amazing. Wow. Thank you, Chris the Comic Vet, for putting together this fantastic box to give out to your channel members. I'm fortunate enough to be a channel member of the Comic Army, as you're a channel member of mine as well, and I greatly appreciate that, sir. Like I said, and I'm a man of my word, I said it on camera, I'm going to wind up giving out all this stuff on In The Mix, except the Zorro. I'm keeping that Zorro. All this other stuff will go right back into the community that supports me, and and we just keep that circle of support or the, the cycle of support rather keep that going so boom you could potentially take home something like this if you're a member of the comic army and that's gonna do it for me ladies and gentlemen as always subscribe like hit that notification bell share this video tell your friends about me consider joining the link squad and as always most importantly spread love because it's the Brooklyn way peace